there are a few alternatives um, that basically instead of going, instead of each EC2 instance or each resource in your environment would have a public IP address, you can have a private IP address and then you can route the traffic outside the, to the internet with other solutions. That could be like a vendor or firewall, let's say Checkpoint, FortiGate, uh, Cisco, all of the above. They have, um, they have their own uh, firewall solution. Uh, you can also use NAT Gateway, which is a great solution, but if you consume a lot of data, you will pay for the processing fees, which might be higher than the cost of public IP addresses. And there is a product, there is an open source solution called um, Alternat, uh, which they have like plenty of stars on GitHub, but I didn't test it. Uh, I'm not sure it's a good recommendation for a production VPC, production local workload. But um, the way it works is that basically it routes the traffic through an instance that acts as a map. And there is health check with Lambda, I think, that simply makes sure that if this instance is going down, another one will pop up and you're only paying for the instance. So instead of paying, let's say, 300, 500, 800 dollars per month for a um, vendor firewall instance or not gateway, you can simply pay only for um, one instance. I, I've recommended Alternat to a few customers um, and they've been really happy with it. it um, I think they've got some calculations on their own web page. Depend it depends a lot on the size of the instances you use, the traffic that goes through it, so on. But um, once you start pushing something sort of the five to 10 terabytes of data a month kind of range, then it becomes really quite a good cost saving type uh, methodology. What's also really cool about it um, is uh, they give you the, the configurations to turn any regular instance into a NAT gateway uh, or into a NAT device. Um, they, they give all the commands as part of the setup. And also it's backed by actual regular NAT gateways. So there's a fallback plan there that um, the instances are never unreachable. Um, there's the, if, if you're, if all of your instances do go down, then it will route the traffic through NAT gateways. But that has the flip side that you're still paying the NAT gateway running costs because they are still present in your environment. So the big, the big cost everyone complains about with NAT gateway is the data processing. It's removing that.